Welcome to two examples of writing a product of trig functions as a sum or difference. We'll first write 12 times sine 14x times sine 9x as a difference, and then we'll write 18 times cosine 29x times cosine 17x as a sum. For a quick review, here are the product to sum trig identities. We'll be using these first two where we have cosine a times cosine b and sine a times sine b. There is one thing I do want to mention here though. It's best to have the larger angle first because it's better form to have a plus b and a minus b positive. In order for a minus b to be positive, a would have to be greater than b. It wouldn't be wrong if we switch these angles, but if we had a negative angle for a cosine of a minus b here or here, it is better form to perform a substitution using a negative angle identity given here. But again, we can avoid this as long as a is greater than b. So looking at our first example, notice how if x was positive, 14x would be greater than 9x. So we do have this in the preferred form, where a would be equal to 14x and b would be equal to 9x. So applying our identity, we can say that 12 times sine 14x times sine 9x is equal to, we still have the 12, and then times 1 half times the quantity cosine a minus b. Well, a minus b would be 14x minus 9x, that's 5x. Notice how we do have a positive coefficient which is what we prefer if we have an expression. And then we have minus cosine of a plus b, or 14x plus 9x, which is 23x. Now we just need to simplify. 12 times 1 half, of course, is 6. And we still have a product here, so now we'll distribute. So we have 6 cosine 5x minus 6 cosine 23x. Now we have the given product as a difference. Let's take a look at our second example. Again, notice how if x is positive, 29x would be greater than 17x. So this is in the preferred order, where a is equal to 29x and b is equal to 17x. And therefore, 18 cosine 29x times cosine 17x would be equal to 18 times 1 half times the quantity cosine a plus b, which would be cosine of 29x plus 17x. That would be, what, 46x? And then we have plus cosine of a minus b, which would be 29x minus 17x, or 12x. And again, now we just simplify. So we have 18 times 1 half, that's 9. And the last step is to distribute. So we have 9 cosine 46x plus 9 cosine 12x. And we have the given product written as a sum. I hope you found this helpful.